Hi guys and welcome to today's video. If you didn't know, a couple of days ago I uploaded a time-lapse video, uh, which was what I'm going to be doing a tutorial on today, how you can create the time-lapse in HitFilm 4 Express. So time-lapses aren't just created in HitFilm. You first need to go and film your time-lapse, which can be from outside, or it might be something like a time-lapse from your screen recording. Whatever it is, you need to go film that first before you edit it. Now there are multiple ways of filming it, and while this tutorial is just on how to edit it, depending on the way you filmed it, you're going to have to edit it differently. Probably the easiest way to film your time-lapse is to just record a video and to just speed it up in post to make it look like it's moving really fast. The good thing about this is it's very easy, and you don't need some special software or anything like that to, to make your time-lapse. The downside, however, is that you have this really long video file at the end, and it takes up loads of space on your computer. The second way you can create a time-lapse is by taking lots of images over a period of time. So for example, I took these images three seconds after one another. What I can do in post is I can put them all together to create a moving sequence. The advantage of something like this is it takes up less space than if you had a really, really long video clip. You also get much larger images, which means that you have much more room for cropping and changing things up in post. And also you have much more flexibility over your camera settings when you're shooting it. So in HitFilm, there's a bunch of ways that you can create your time-lapse. So quickly I'm going to go through the first method of creating your time-lapse, which is to get a normal video and speed it up a lot. So I've got my video here, it's not really a time-lapse video, it's not very long, it's only 11 seconds. Now my editor is in 60 frames per second, but this is 25 frames per second. But what I want to happen is I want my end result to be 60 frames per second so that I get smoother motion. So I'm just going to click no. To speed up your clip in HitFilm, all you have to do is right click on it and select speed slash duration. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. All you have is 1000% say, and it'll play back 10 times faster than normal. So that's how you create a time-lapse if you've just shot one single video. But what happens if you've shot a bunch of images, like I have? Then you can go into your image sequence, put special media and select image sequence, and you can open up the folder where all of your images are. And it should appear as this image sequence video, which is at the frame rate of your project. So instead of dra dragging this into the editor, I'm just going to create a composite shot directly out of this. And I'm going to make it 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is how I want my final product to be. I'm going to click OK, and everything should be great. We've got our media here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale it uh, until it fills the whole frame. Now you'll see that actually I've got these, these bars here. This is because I couldn't open the windows far enough, um, so I had to end up with these things in the frame, but I knew I was going to be able to scale it in so that I didn't have to see these in post anyway. And we can now position it how we want. I'm just going to position it around the middle for now. Now that's the basics of how you actually create the movement in your time lapse. So this one's around 20 seconds long. And you can see it plays back here pretty nicely, seeing the shadows going over the trees and everything. However, in the time lapse that I showed you before, um, I actually did a few little things in the editing room uh, to make it really look nice. So, one of the first things I did was I added a color correction. So, let me just create a new layer. I'm going to create a gray layer, and I'm just going to do all of my color correction and grading on this layer. So, I'm actually just going to apply the curves effect, and we're going to drag it onto my video like so. And with the curves effect, well I've got a whole video on how to color grade and correct in HitFilm 4 Express. But the curves effect allows you to pretty much adjust the colors and luminance values in your clip. And I'm just going to make it look like this. Drag this one down and drag this one up a bit to make it more contrasty. And because everything changes in a time lapse, I'm just going to scrub through the video to see how that looks later in the time lapse. And I think it looks pretty good. Now what I did a lot of in the previous example was I actually did a lot of actually adjusting the colors. Um, but for this, one of the things that's easier to understand is to use the color balance effect. So you can just search up for that. I'll grab your color balance effect. I'm just going to drag it in after my curves. And what you can do with color balance is add certain colors into different parts of the lumen scale in your video. So for example, 
in the shadows, I can add lots of blue or remove some red or whatever I want to do in the highlights. I can add lots of red, which, I'm, which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, it makes it look more like it's in the uh, sunset sort of thing. So I'm just going to add lots of red and remove lots of blue. I'm just going to see how this plays back. I'm not quite too sure how it'll play back, but we can always have a look. Looks pretty nice so far. And I think that that works quite well actually. In the shadows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a lot of red and I'm going to add a bit of blue. So I can just create a bit of contrast there by doing the opposite in the shadows. And in the midtones, I think I'm just going to add some green and remove green a bit. So that's a basic color grade for my time lapse. One thing I did in the other video that I showed you guys was I actually made some camera moves as well, some fake camera moves that I did in post here. So all I had to do was I selected my original clip and I keyframed the position values uh, so that it moved. I'm just going to go down to the bottom of the frame here. Actually, I'm just going to go until the treetop right there. I'm just going to set a keyframe right here. And at the very end of the time lapse, I'm just going to move it all the way up so that we can see the sky a lot better. Now between these two keyframes, it'll move and it'll create this fake camera movement. This is one of the reasons why it's better to shoot lots and lots of high resolution images rather than take one long video. So that's it for this video guys, I hope this helped you out and go outside and shoot some of your own stunning time lapses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!